Wow, look at all of this. This isn't even all of our blushes. I'm probably missing at least half a dozen, at least. But look at how beautiful. This was one of your ideas. Someone out there, let me know who you are, said, can you show us all the blushes? So here we are today. These are all of the Saint blushes and all the different possibilities. And I break down who they can work for, what eye color, what hair color, what type of skin. And I show you on my hand and my arm how they look when they're blended out. So if you wanted to know more about Saint blush, you're in the right place. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle Spieler. I'm an over 25 year professional makeup artist. I worked in Hollywood. I know a thing or two about makeup, but I'm also 55, so I really understand mature skin. I'm also the creator of Mature Makeup Masterclass, a series of over 20 videos broken down into categories, and it's just to teach mature technique. I'm not selling any particular product. I accommodate every type of budget, but it's really for the woman over 40 who finds her skin and face changing and her makeup isn't working the same. You need Mature Makeup Masterclass. The link is in every single video that I make here on YouTube. Tonight is Wednesday night. I am in San Antonio, except right now I'm home shooting this video for you. But I'm going to make this really, really brief today. And I know what you're thinking. Yeah, right, Michelle, you couldn't make it brief if, you know, it was going to save your life. So I am going to be brief today. Um, today, we're going to talk about all the blushes of Saint, and I'm missing quite a few. Um, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But someone reached out, I can't remember shout out in comments if it was you, but someone said, can we please see the um, different blushes and, and how they look and you know who they're for? And as a professional makeup artist, I could walk onto any makeup trailer for TV and film and see a blush palette like this and know exactly which one I would put on who. And some of these are universal. They could go on anyone. And some of them I would use for very specific people. So we will talk about that today. Quickly, I wanted to say I do get um, a handful of emails each month of people saying, help, I bought your Mature Makeup Masterclass and I can't sign in. I don't know how to sign in. Once you have purchased the class, you have used your email to purchase the class. That's all you need to sign in. You don't even need my link anymore. All you do is you go to teachable.com. That's it, teachable.com. You're gonna sign in with your email. And then if you set up a password, um, you might have to reset it if you don't remember it. I recommend for something like Mature Makeup Masterclass, really simple. It could be one, two, three, four. No one's gonna hack you. You're there as a student. So just remember, you just sign in to teachable.com. You use your email, whatever email you use to purchase the class and you get to set the password. You don't even have to though. Some people don't even have passwords. So I can't help you with the password. I can't help you with signing in. Teachable is a platform that I use because I like their structure, but your any technical problems you have that would be through Teachable. You would have to reach out to Teachable. Um, I can't help you with that. I'm so sorry. I'm just, I'm just a user like you. It's just, they're my platform I chose, okay? All right, real quick, I'm gonna run and grab makeup wipes because we are going to get messy. Okay, we're gonna get messy today, so I have to have all the wipes and I had to steal them from my pro kit in my downstairs office. Okay, so first of all, this palette is just absolutely stunning. It's lined with the silver. There's a giant mirror for travel. It's frosted because I have the film on. It holds a ton, but I will tell you, um, it's a lot heavier than the cardboard ones. I personally love to travel. I like a big one to keep everything at home. Um, I have every palette that we make pretty much, but I really love a little one for Demi and a little one for my bronzer and my candlelit. And then um, I'll probably switch my um, contour to this, okay? Uh, for when I travel to San Antonio. 
but today you wanted to hear about blush colors and let's go. So on my cheeks right now, I have Hollywood and I'm like, wow, why did I stop wearing Hollywood? I think it's one of those colors that it's just so popular that I just figure everyone already knows what it looks like. But Hollywood um, very much looks like the NARS orgasm. Sorry, they use that title, I hate it but it is a beautiful warm pink, but there, do you see there's a, a, a gold shimmer? But you can get real close up, and it's not disco-y, it's not chunky frosty, it's not shimmery, it's just a beautiful glow. So it's a very pretty if you like a warm pink and you tend to lean more gold than silver. So that's what I have on today, I have on the Hollywood. And um, let's see. Let me start getting all this ready. I'm gonna tell you my favorites. Let's start with neutrals and then we'll go into more colors. I'm also not gonna touch on very many glosses today. Our gloss formula, I've been here a year now. The gloss formula really doesn't stay on very well. It does me because I'm working from home, but it, it it's not real long wearing. And so people get frustrated with the gloss. The glosses are really pretty to wear over the satins if you wanted to double up, but a lot of women don't wanna do that and I don't blame you. So we're gonna start with a lot of our beautiful neutrals because everyone can wear a neutral and I think every woman can wear a pink. It just depends on what kind of pink you can wear. And then we have some peachy colors. So this is one of my very favorites to wear in the summer. And it looks so blah and boring. But this is Desert Sunset. Now this is a gloss. So do you see how glossy it is? But some women are really going to like that. And that is just a really pretty, it's like the tiniest bit of rose in like a beige tan color, okay? But as you really sheer it out, it's just so natural and pretty. And then if you, if, if as most of us get older, we get a little bit of pink in our cheeks just from sun damage. So a little bit of pink can show through that. So if you're the type, you already have some red and pink on your face. This is really, really nice to wear over it. Now, if you can't wear a gloss, I'll show you nude, but these, it, I know it looks like nothing, right? But it really is. Do you see how there's more color now on the tan part of my hand? I should probably, most of our faces are deeper. I don't think I'm gonna use, I'll use this side if I'm trying to show you a snow white color. But you see how that has just the prettiest bit of rose to it? It's like a rose beigey nude. So pretty, but it's glossy. Do you see that gloss? Not everyone can wear a gloss. So if you like the idea of that, but you don't want to wear a gloss, let me show you nude. So this one, I'm going to have to pop them out. This is nude. And I love this one too. I wear this one a lot. This is nude and it is so pretty because it's a satin. So it's gonna have a little bit of a natural sheen due to the nature of wax and cream in it. But do you see how that's almost the same color but a tiny bit deeper? It's great for the woman who has a little bit of pink in her face and she doesn't wanna go more pink but it's really one of my favorite. I'm taking this definitely to San Antonio. I am really in love with nude. I also love bear, but I think we just got rid of it. Um, it was a not, it's not that we got rid of it. It's just, it won't be back for a year. Saint does this thing where they'll do some limited edition colors. So you have to rush and buy it for the month. Um, and then you don't see it again for a year. And so, oh, okay. Now this is boardwalk. Oh, I love boardwalk too. I wear Wait, is this boardwalk? Hold, hold please. This is what happens. No, this is ballerina. Um, ballerina is really, it. first of all, it's a semi-gloss, not a gloss. 
And I would say it's good for those girls who are real pale like my arm and they want that really kind of nude, neutral, soft look. I don't think I've recommended Ballerina to one person in over a year, not one, but I, I had to have it to see what it was like. It's very pretty. If a young, young girl is pale and has a little bit of rosacea, this would be gorgeous on the cheeks, but Ballerina typically is not a great color for us mature gals. Um, Unless you have rosacea and you want a really nude look, you could do um, that or you could do Desert Sunset or we could show you Summer Love. Now, Summer Love is also um, a really neutral color, but do you see how it has a little more of a cool rose to it? And I recommend Summer Love to women that have blue and green eyes because do you see how there's a little bit more cool pink in there than the other ones I showed you that are more warm? This is really pretty with a little tiny bit of mauve and it's gorgeous. Any Anyone can wear it. I mean, I can wear this too. It's, it's really beautiful with my Mob M93 lipstick. Um, but you can see that real pretty mauve, but it's real subtle. And so let's see how it looks on a deeper skin. Just again, really subtle. Now, Summer Love is a gloss, so it's going to be glossier, which means it doesn't stay on as well. But that is Summer Love, and that is so pretty. Now, if you are deeper skin tone, if you are someone who is maybe a little deeper than me, or you like an earth tone, maybe you're going somewhere in the summer and you just want that earthier, bronzier look, and you've already got Bella on, but you want a little more oomph, you come to the right place because what we got here is sandalwood, no, sandstone. This is sandstone, okay? Don't be afraid. It looks dark, but look over here. So do you see how it's just gonna give you that little bit of that kind of like, it's almost like a beautiful sunburn. It's like a bricky, it's like a bricky sunburn, like a terracotta. Isn't that pretty? So that's sandstone. And then this one here, is rosewood. And we're featuring rosewood right now. I just saw this on the website and I'm seeing a lot of saint artists wearing this. Look, that sandstone is got some pigment. Look, that doesn't want to come off. So that's good. For those of you who have trouble keeping blush on, that's pretty. Okay, so this is rosewood. A little bit more orange. A little bit more of a, I would say, orangey terracotta. Not quite as brick. A little bit more pumpkin So I personally don't like that quite as much, but man, if you are ginger or, you know, that strawberry blonde, or you just want like a more orangey color to go with your Bella, that's a great one, okay? Now, since we're doing warms, let me show you one that is super popular that I personally don't like at all, and I never recommend it, but it's real popular with Saint. Cheers. It's Frenchie. If you like Frenchie, will you let us know in comments? But I will tell you a way. I did find a way to make Frenchie work. But for me, Frenchie is, you look at it and you're like, ooh, Bridget Bardot, like that's so pretty. It's so flat and boring. I cannot figure it out, but I just don't like it and I don't know who does. So please let me know in comments if you love Frenchie. Um, it's just, I had so many women coming to me all last year saying, oh, my younger artist represented Frenchie. And it's just, it's just flat. It's just so flat. I don't, I, I don't know why I don't like it because I'm a peachy girl, but it's just so flat. It's not pretty, except guess what? Rose Gold came into my life. Now, Rose Gold is an illuminator, and it's this really pretty kind of pearly champagne, and you can put a little bit of Rose Gold over this, and now suddenly, 
it's got some life. Do you see that? Now that it has some life, it's very pretty. So I actually do like Frenchie now only if I can put a highlighter over it. Otherwise, I'm just not a fan of it. I'm just not. You could put Cindy over it. You could put Carousel over it. You could put like a sheer pink gloss over this, um, over the Frenchie, and it would be really pretty. Otherwise, not a fan of Frenchie, but I do like it mixed. So let me know what you think about that. Oh no, I just, these are dried out. That's what happens when you don't work on a professional job for so many months because I'm so busy working home. Now, I don't use makeup wipes on myself to take off my makeup. I don't advise that. It's not good for throwing all that into the environment, but also it's just not a great way to clean your face. But if you're a lazy girl, if you're the type of girl that you like to keep these on the nightstand because you're gonna take your makeup off in bed, I'd rather have you use this than nothing. But I really don't advise makeup wipes to take your face off. Okay, so. We got all of those. Now, I want to tell you really quick about some plummier tones. So I have a color called, where is plum? This is love spell. I love love spell. It's so hard to get these little darn magnets out of here. I guess that's a good thing. I love love spell. I recommended this to a lot of women. Um, it's super sheer, it's a gloss, it's super sheer, but if you kind of like that, like, I don't know, brownish plum of the 90s, but it's sheer, look at how pretty that is. And if you've already got a little bit of color in your lip and you put this over it, it's gorgeous. I love Love Spell. That is, I recommended that a lot last year. That is very, very pretty. And then we have a color called Plum somewhere, but I'm not finding it. So I'll have to let you know. Um, no. Okay. So let's go into pinks. I want to talk pinks before I go into more peaches. So we have a color called Pinky Promise. Now it is a gloss, but again, Pinky Promise could go over the Frenchie, but Pinky Promise is very bubblegum pink. So unless you, I mean, I just don't really know who this is for. Like I could definitely mix some, look, let's, let's mix some Frenchie with it. Like, okay, so there's Frenchie. You know, if you really wanted to get into mixing, that could be quite pretty. But let's be honest, most of us are not mixologists and we just want to put on one blush and have it be easy. So I'm not a huge fan of the Pinky Promise, but there is a new one called Pink Lemonade that's also popular this month. And it's pink, but it's on the warm side. And it kind of almost looks like my R5 Demi, doesn't it? Look at that. That kind of almost looks like R5. And it goes on deeper than it looks. Like it looks like it would be so light, but it, it actually has some nice pink to it. Like that almost looks like you just pinched your cheeks and you got this beautiful pink and it's a satin. So I really like pink lemonade. And then we have um, one of the more popular ones that I recommend for mature women is pink grapefruit because it's safe. It's so safe, pink grapefruit. And it is, um, is this pink grapefruit? Yeah, this is pink grapefruit. Do you see that? I'm going to show you next to the, see how that's just safe. It's just a really pretty pink that just about anyone can wear. I'll put it next to pink lemonade. And and the pink grapefruit reminds me a little bit of my R5 too. So if you if if pink grapefruit's a little too much color for you, you could definitely do pink lemonade. That's pink lemonade, that's pink grapefruit. Remember I'm putting these on full saturation too because I want you to really be able to see the color. But if you put them on with a brush over your Saint highlight, it's not going to be it's not going to be super dark. Nothing we make is super dark. Then we have a color called Baby Watermelon, and I recommend Baby Watermelon 
for women who need more of a blue undertone. So pink grapefruit's more neutral or warm. And then the pink watermelon, I love for women that have the blue and green eyes and they just need that more blue-based blue, blue -based pink. I really like pink watermelon. I mean, baby watermelon. It, it's a lot like pink grapefruit, but there's a little more of a blue undertone to it. And then we have one called Dahlia. And Dahlia is really pretty too. And I recommend this for women who maybe have deeper skin tones. Maybe they're more olive. Maybe think J-Lo. But this is really pretty because it's kind of a brighter, warmer pink. It's a little bit brighter and warmer than pink grapefruit, but it's softer. Um, so it's really pretty on like olive skin tones. It's just beautiful. So they're all kind of looking similar, right? So that's why I'm telling you who can wear what so you guys can um, kind of discern which one would be best for you. Now, there's also a really pretty one. I recommend this one a lot for women who like a more sheer color and they almost like their um, lips and their cheeks to look like they went out on a cold day and got that beautiful flush of color. And to me, that is Ruby. I think Ruby is so beautiful, but it is a gloss. And Ruby is this sheer blue red, but very sheer. And on the lips, it's like, it's so pretty on the lips. I can even wear this in the winter and I have warmer skin and brown eyes, but I love this on women with blue eyes, green eyes. Um, this is gorgeous on women of color, as light as Halle Berry, as deep as, you know, I, anyone, anyone deep can wear this. So I really love it, but it is a gloss. Now, if you have more color, um, and you want something a little bit deeper, this is Black Cherry. We also have one called Royal, um, but let me show you Black Cherry. It's so pretty. A little like Love Spell, but more purpley plum in it, but again, very sheer. And this on the lips, look at that. Imagine that on the lips. That's like a beautiful bluish plum. Very pretty Black Cherry. I see women of all ethnicities, white, Hispanic, Asian, black women, anyone can wear black cherry and also royal is very similar. So I love those. But I also love, um, I think I wore this one time in a video for y'all. It was scarlet and we do have scarlet right now and scarlet is a satin, but look, it's like this beautiful reddish, um, it's like a warm red. And again, you could wear it really sheer on the cheeks Imagine this with Bella bronzer. That looks like the most gorgeous little sunburn. Like you could do it on the top of the cheeks and the nose and some Bella bronzer. That is gorgeous and it's gorgeous on the lips. And it's a satin so it's not going to move around a lot on you. And then we've also got um, Sangria. And Sangria is also a beautiful color, but it goes on to me a little bit more pinky than it looks. Like it looks like a bricky red, but to me, it goes on a little bit more fuchsia bricky pink. You know what I mean? Look at that. Also gorgeous on deep ethnicity, but also can work on, you know, fair women too. Okay. Am I confusing you yet? You almost can't go wrong with any of them. Are you sensing that? They're so pretty. Okay, we're gonna move on to peaches. And I need another, I need another white because, oh, holy moly. Okay. You see, I'm get, starting to get stained, but that's a good thing. Look, it's not even wanting to come off my hands. Okay, so. Next, I'm going to show you, is this Boardwalk? I love Boardwalk in the summer. It is. Boardwalk is peachy, but it's a gloss. Um, but I really love it with the Bella bronzer. It's just kind of a nude peach. 
Then if you like a little bit more peach, if you're really a peachy girl and Frenchie's too uh, blah for you, um, we have Saint Tropez. And Saint Tropez is a um, semi-gloss. See that? It's like a creamy, it's like a creamy peach. Let me show you here. Isn't that pretty? So if you're a true peach girl, look at that. I'll wear that someday in a video coming up because I'm really a peach girl. And then we have, ooh, is this Venice? For my gals who love coral, this is a true coral. But it's a little messy. Venice can be a little messy. Um, it's, it's a true coral. It's almost like a salmon. And it's got a lot of color in it. So a little goes a long way. If you want to see that. That's the Venice. I don't recommend that to too many people unless they really like a true, a true coral. Okay, and then let me take that off real quick. And we only have a couple more colors to go. I showed you that pink lemonade. That was so beautiful. And I'm not gonna put any of these in the description because I've just I've there's way too many colors but I will label them in this video. So as, as I show you each color, I will do a text overlay just so you can see them. Okay, so this is Tropicana. I like Tropicana more than San Tropez. I think Tropicana is a semi-gloss. It's, it's a little bit more subtle. See that? I wore Tropicana a lot last summer. I really like that with Bella bronzer. It's a little bit more softer than the Saint Tropez, which is a little lighter. And then um, I'm wearing the Hollywood, which I showed you. We have a couple sheer colors called Petal. We have Cindy, we have Carousel. They're all light, glossy pinks. And so they're not really gonna look good on their own. Um, I find they need a little more oomph under them. But if you already have them and you just don't love them, put a deeper color under them. And then now they've become kind of a glossy, sheer highlighter. Think of them more as a highlighter like the rose gold, but with more color because they're beautiful over flatter satin colors. Or you could even, maybe you have a powder blush at home that you really love to wear. And then you could take a little bit of like, um, Cindy or Carousel and kind of do this and just, you know, go up on the cheekbone to get that beautiful glossy highlight. Um, so we have a lot of options. This isn't even all of them. This isn't even all of them. If there's more colors that you want to hear about, let me know in comments. We have a new color this month called Renaissance and I haven't bought it because it's not a color I would personally wear but it's going to be gone in a month. So why do I want a color I'm not going to wear when it's gone at the end of the month? It's a limited edition. Um, but I will tell people on the color match, hey, this Renaissance might be beautiful for you. Um, it's a little bit like the love spell that I showed you. It's a little bit like the love spell, but it's, it's a little bit more um, it's, it's actually, it's a, to me, it's the Renaissance is a lot like this love spell where it's kind of a, I don't know, plummy brown, but sheer. Um, so I just, I didn't order. I don't order every blush. I really don't. I did get tiger lily and I was so excited about tiger lily and then it's gone and now I can't talk about it. I'm not going to get you excited about tiger lily, which was a beautiful, um, kind of a coral, kind of a peachy coral, it's gone now. We won't see it back for another year. So I really do try to stick to the basics unless there's just a color that I think is going to be so beautiful on you and I think you can get a lot of use out of it. But um, there you go. That's our blushes. We have satins, which are flat and longer wearing. We have semi-gloss. We only have a couple. They're kind of in between the gloss and the satin. And then the glosses are very, very sheer and very shiny. Um, and they do not stay on as long, especially if you have oily skin. We've all, we've all learned that the hard way. But I do like the gloss formula and I do still wear them. 
Okay, I hope that helps. Remember, you can always get a free color match. I always have the link in the description. So on any one of my Saint videos, you can click on the title of the video and a description pops down and there's always my Mature Makeup Masterclass link and there is always a free color match link. I'm happy to help, I'm happy to color match. I do eyeshadows too, so if you're overwhelmed by eyeshadows, I've photographed all of our eyeshadows into quads and I show you them in quads, but you do not have to buy them in quads. You might only like two, um, but it's just an easy way for me to show you different possibilities um, because I do love to always include eyeshadows. Um, and again, these, um, aisle, this, these palettes are called Isle. I-S-L-E, and they are stunning. This is the large one, and then there's a smaller one, and they're just so pretty. To me, it looks like Apple, or Apple, Apple, Apple computers made it. Isn't it pretty? I love it. I'm taking my smaller one to San Antonio because I love it. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, sorry, I'm looking a little fancy today. I had to do a video over on TikTok for special occasion makeup, but I'm so glad you're here. And I'm whoever idea this was, I thank you. I think it's a great way to look at all the different blushes we have and who they work for. You almost can't go wrong with any of our blushes. And I will say this, we do free color swaps. So if you get a color that just you do not like and it does not work for you, you can mail it back into Saint and they will let you swap for another color, okay? There is a small shipping fee, but it's better than getting stuck with a color you don't like. Um, and if you do have a color you don't like, you can see how you can mix them with different colors, even from other brands, and make it work. Okay, let's always use what we have. Let's use it up before we buy more, right? Unless you need like a different color palette, you know? So that's it for now. Um, I'll probably have exciting things to talk about next week coming home from our big Saint Conference in San Antonio. I'll try to post some YouTube shorts so you can see uh, the gown that I've chosen. I'm so excited about it. Um, I don't get out much and I definitely don't dress up and get out much. So this is going to be a really fun time and um, I'm happier along for the ride. Thanks so much. I will always leave you with God loves you so much. And so do I. And I will see you next week.